Hello, thanks for tuning in. Stuart, the Unrepented Atheist, and um, it's the 2nd of January. This show was streamed yesterday at um, uh, uh, on New Year's Day. I'm going to be doing one call a week, one from the line and one from the Atheist Experience, two, two best calls rather than reviewing all the calls because most of them are fairly boring. But So I've picked out one this week, and uh, let's get going with it straight away and see what happens. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're putting you in as. You Apparently, you wouldn't just give that to the screener, and then you tried to play this. I'm going to tell Matt this now because it's not in the public uh, in the notes he can see. You had, I'm going to start with a lesson on you don't get to do the stupid thing like on Twitter. If you block me, I win, and then assume you win. Uh, uh, Jeff, I'm, is, I'm not, I'm not Jeff, has, Jeff has told the screener that if we don't take the call, it's, it's because we're afraid. What was it? Uh, uh, you'll uh, assume because oh, it's, it's we don't getting, want you to no. rock our world. I'm really looking forward to I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing Matt and Jimmy's world rocked by this theist who's calling in to see what he says. Yeah, yeah. thank I, you for reminding yeah, me. I think you'd have a hard time finding anybody who's had more of these debates and discussion than I have, Jeff. So, uh, but go ahead if you make a case that I'm a coward. Let's have it. Rock well, rock our world. That, that, that's not what I'm calling to argue about at all. That that, that was something of a, a, a joke. My, my actual argument is jokes are funny. for the okay. theist, myself included, and that's why I'm calling to speak about it. Uh, you know, I, I, I've seen your videos over the course of let's say the last six months, and I've watched several of them going back several years, and it's all the same. People calling in because they have proof, they have evidence of the existence of God or something like it. And they cite personal experience, they cite scripture, they cite historical events, they cite current events. But my beef with these people, and I think they really ruin religion for the rest of us, is... <laughs> so all these people calling in with arguments for the existence of God or um, evidence for their beliefs are ruining religion for everybody else. Um, who I wonder who I wonder who he's referring to when he says everybody else. That um, you know they're trying to use logic to prove the existence of a supernatural being that breathed the universe into existence. If a being in and of itself is supernatural, it is without the logic of man. And any man or woman who professes to believe in that supernatural power must acknowledge they cannot prove it and without faith okay. in so, the religions that we have yeah i'm going to be i'm going to interrupt and i'm going to be more charitable with you than i probably should <laughs> um okay because what you said is technically wrong the second you say okay. logic of man there is just logic it's not logic of man it's not something that we invented the the foundations of reason are essentially discovered things but it seems to me that what you're saying is that there doesn't seem to be, maybe you're saying never, but I, I would say there does not currently exist any known way to test or verify anything supernatural. Is that kind of what you're saying? Yes. Okay. So and what I'm in addition to that, what I'm saying is for a person of faith, no test is ever required. Other than yes, I know. Faith. I understand that. For for gullible people, okay. you shouldn't. They don't require evidence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a weird brag. That's fine. I I have no issue with you saying that. I have no issue with that. <laughs> so he's got no issue with uh, accepting the label of gullible person. <laughs> okay. So do you care whether or not your beliefs are true, Jeff? Um. <laughs> well, if you have to think about it, I guess you don't. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. I think that's probably the funniest silence I've ever heard on the atheist experience. Do you care if your beliefs are true are true or not? Uh, I'm amazed that he just uh, he just did not reply to that. He just didn't say anything. Couldn't answer the question. Uh, seems really weird that he's calling in to rock rock the world of atheists. And he admits more or less that he doesn't care if his beliefs are true. And he also admits to being a gullible person. Um, I think when he puts the phone down, he's probably going to feel really foolish. Thanks for calling.
I mean, <laughs> nope. I, I don't Sorry. even think that was a real call. I honestly no, no, like no, 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 the, no. The, It was a real call. It wasn't a Poe. It wasn't a troll or anything. Uh, he phoned in because he thought he was being clever, and at least he was honest about the fact that. Um, First of all, that uh, he can't present any evidence for the existence of God. Secondly, that for him, faith is enough, admitting that he's a gullible person. And thirdly, admitting that he doesn't care whether or not his beliefs are true. So, well, what else can you say? <laughs> um, well, I thought you might enjoy that. I thought it was the best call this week. And fortunately, it was a short one, so I can get this one uploaded. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any comments. I'll be back again soon. Bye.